Hi, welcome to our uh, webinar on the Quick Cut platform for basketball. Uh, I'm joined by Todd Webb. He was the uh, uh, state champion this last uh, season, 2020, and also coach of the year. He's going to be talking about our stats. I'm going to go over some of the features and functionality of the basketball platform. First of all, I want to talk about uh, the most asked question, and that is how do you exchange film with huddle users? As you create your schedule, you're going to get three separate folders, a game footage, scout footage, and practice folder. And all three of those folders will have a huddle import button. And so if you're going to exchange film with another opponent, they're going to download the game from huddle. It will come to their email address in a link, and they're going to forward that link to you. You're going to do the same. You're going to download a game. It'll come to your email. There'll be a link in that email and you'll forward that email on to the huddle user. When you get that link, you'll be able to click this button right here and copy and paste that link right here, fill out the information, hit submit, and it takes about 90 seconds for a game to move from a link into your account where you can start watching it. So it's easy, it's convenient, but it's different. And uh, if you're switching film with another quick cut user, we do have the exchange system built in, but until uh, the majority of teams are using quick cut, we'll have to use the email to move back and forth with huddle users. We even built in this button here called request video. This will give the huddle user step-by-step -step instructions on how to download that game and then forward on that email to you. So exchanging film should be easy and convenient during the season. As you create your schedule, this is going to be the landing page for coaches. And as I enter or open up a game, we'll go to this game here. You will see the user interface. The user interface allows you to watch the film in whatever speed you want. It'll allow you to back it up 10 seconds, five seconds, or move forward five and 10 seconds. Over on the right-hand side, you can telestrate drawing on the video, adding text boxes, arrows, and circles. And then you've got the fast forward and rewind button on the far right. If you wanna create a quick playlist, as you come to the uh, uh, different stats in the game, you can hit the button quick capture and for what, Wherever that playhead lands, it will take three and a half seconds before it and three and a half seconds afterwards. Or if you want to record an entire series of offense, you can hit the start capture button as they cross half court. And when that offensive series is done, this button will turn into a stop capture and you'll have that whole offensive series if that's what you want to review with your athletes. Taking stats is easy. We offer that service. We also um, allow you to do your own stats. The rosters will appear. You can add the roster if you're playing your home or an away team uh, or your opponent. The, everything's color coded. The defensive stats are in orange and the offensive stats are in blue. They're coordinated down below the video where you will see the offensive stats on the top row, defensive stats on the bottom row, and then in the middle is your shot chart. Misses in red, maids in green. Real easy to stat, just click the jersey number. And we are adding zones. Those zones will be done uh, by August 1st. Let me go in and delete that stat. And so you'll be able to see that shot chart um, based on zones that you can see um, on defense where you're getting beat, which zone, and then offense, what happens to be your sweet spot. I'm gonna have, turn it over to Todd Webb and he's gonna talk about basketball stats and where we're going with this. We're giving it a slight makeover and uh, we want you to be able to keep all the stats that you're accustomed to taking with Huddle and then some. Go ahead, Todd. Okay, so what, uh, what he's showing you guys right now is just a list that I made of every stat that's available to you with Huddle Assist. Um, so what we're going to be offering, we're going to be offering this entire list. You're getting everything that you would ever get if you're a Huddle Assist or a crossover customer of the past. 
Uh, you're going to get every, every stat on this list with the exception of one. And we're going to scroll down to that. Um, Todd, if you'll scroll down just a little further right there. Um, the value point system, or VPS. That is a player efficiency system that uh, Huddle Assist uses. Um, I've yet to talk to a basketball coach that actually uses it. Um, just because there's not a lot of disparity uh, in the rating, the average rating is 1.0. And just looking at my own players, most games, it ranged from a player being like 0 0.8 to 1.2, you know, in that range. It, it never really deviated very far from that. Um, so you didn't get a whole lot of disparity when you were talking about comparing players when you're trying to decide, you know, is this kid that's getting eight minutes a game, should they get, be getting more like 12 or 15? So what we're going to be doing on our end is, if you'll scroll on down, uh, some, of the, uh, some of the stats that we're going to offer that will make us superior to huddle assist. And the first one is player efficiency rating. Um, instead of the VPS, we're going to replace VPS with this. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a stat that, you know, the NBA uses, the uh, college game uses, just to determine how efficient a player is throughout the course of the game. And if you've ever looked at PER, you know it, it can be negative numbers. It can go up as high as 30s or 40s if you're looking at a stat line with someone like LeBron. Um, so there's quite a bit of disparity uh, between players so you can see how efficient they were throughout the game. Uh, the next thing, minutes and seconds played. One thing that irritated me with huddle assist is there's a few teams on our schedule where their star player, they're never coming out. They're playing all 32 minutes. They're, they're not coming out of the game. Um, and what huddle does is they will round to the nearest minute. Um, so, like, if there's, a, if there's a break in action and, you know, this kid went seven minutes and 30 seconds, it's going to round it up to eight. Or they went four minutes and 30 seconds, it's going to round up to five. So, there was a lot of uh, situations where I would run a report and it said a player played 34 minutes. Um, and when I'm looking at how efficient someone is over time, I want it to be as precise as possible. So, we're going to be tracking minutes and seconds um, just because we're going to need that for the player efficiency rating anyway. And then we want to be able to offer stats where it filters per minute. So when you're looking at your kids that don't get a lot of playing time, you're trying to determine if they need more, it's going to give you scoring rates, rebound rates, assist rates, all that stuff, where it will take how many rebounds they had, divide it by the number of minutes they played. So if they played five minutes and 30 seconds, it's going to be 5.5 minutes. And it'll tell you how many rebounds they got per minute, how many points they had per minute. And, you know, if you're looking in your seventh man – and who you're playing to get some more rebounding, they're getting one rebound a minute. And your sixth man who's had them, you know, they're also someone you need on the boards too, and they're only getting half a rebound a minute. That's going to tell you, you know, they're being a little bit more efficient. If we're getting beat on the boards, you know, I'm going to need this kid a little bit more. Um, and then I put down screen assist and hockey assist. Um, what we're uh, – the reason that's on there is we offer a custom stat feature uh, where you can chart anything that's important to your program. Um, I know I haven't, I know I, I do this and a lot of high school teams do this. We'll have an assistant that's just designated to, they have their clipboard during the game and they're charting stuff that's important to our program that may not show up on a stat report. Um, things like diving on the floor after a loose ball, uh, saving a loose ball, charge attempts, um, screen assist, hockey assist. Screen assist and hockey assist are a little bit tougher to do live, but when you use uh, our stat feature, you can filter just like you uh, would be able to with huddle or crossover. You filter any scoring play. You can go back in there later and tag it yourself as a custom stat. Um, you know, this score, did they come off of a screen? Does this player deserve a screen assist for that? Uh, was it the pass that led to the pass? Um, you know, this person gets a hockey assist for that. And you go back and you tag that yourself custom and – you know, that becomes a part of your stat report. In your custom stats, you have the freedom to move those up and down uh, your stat report. So that's something that we're going to be offering that's going to set us apart and, you know, make us superior in my eyes, uh, someone that's been a huddle assist user for quite some time. Uh, and backtracking just a little bit, uh, Mr. Denoyer talked about the exchange process. Um, what I want everybody to understand is it's not going to work like it was when you know, for us basketball coaches when we were exchanging film from huddle to a crossover user. I know the frustrating thing with that was when if you were a huddle user and you were getting something from a crossover guy, you got the link and you had to click and you just got to watch the link. Um, that's not the way it works with us. Think of you getting film from them in that same manner, 
but you have the ability to copy and paste that link and put it on our uh, on our database and it's up there within 90 seconds. You know, that's what he was referring to. So I didn't want you to think that you're having to watch the film from that link like we had to when we were exchanging Huddle to Crossover. This is actually a far superior system as far as that goes where it allows you to actually put it in your library and you can break it down, you can tag it, whatever you want to do with it. Todd, if you could talk about uh, one other thing is, is team efficiency, that the five that you have out on the court and being able to keep track of which five are, are the most productive um, on the court at, at one time. Uh, yes, that's something uh, that's something we're going to be able to offer as well. Um, currently, that's on Huddle Assist. Uh, I don't necessarily like how it's listed on Huddle Assist, so ours is going to be listed a little bit more user friendly. Um, but you will have the ability to go through there and look at all the lineup combinations you had throughout the game and get those team stats for that particular you know section of the game, like how efficient was what was my most efficient lineup, in other words. Um, I know at the end of every season, I go back and I look at that stuff. Um, so that's something that, you know, we'll have available also. Thank you. Once the game's got the stats entered, you can move to the left-hand side of the, the screen and you can begin filtering on any of those items. So as you create those customized stats, they will appear over here. And you'll notice in this green box, as my mouse is circling, there's 211 stats um, that are documented in the Brookwood High School game. And as I begin to filter on, maybe I want to take a look at assists, that number drops down to 12. 12 assists were recorded during that game. And I can get a combination, steals and assists, I've got 22. I can create a playlist with that. I can create highlights with that. Or I can share that with one of my athletes. So if I want to, right now, all of the, the whole team is selected because I, I didn't select any jersey number. But if I were to go in and pick some jersey numbers, random jersey numbers, those stats will change based on how they're tagged in the stats. So if I create a playlist, I can go out of the game, click on playlist, and I can click on any of those playlists. And I have some of the same features. I can back it up five seconds or 10 seconds. I can draw on the video with Telestration. I also have teaching moments over here on the right where the coach can comment, comment on each one of those stats. So playlist allows the coaches to just hone in on a part of the game that they need to improve on rather than sitting down and watching an hour and a half uh, film session when your schedule has two to three games a week. In addition to the playlist, we have stats over here, and I've only got one game with stats on this right now, but if, as the season progresses, I can pick up any combination or multiples of games, and as I grab those games, I can find an individual athlete and just pick stats on that individual athlete. And this is getting a makeover as well, so you're gonna see all the percentages, and you'll be able to click on any of these numbers and go and watch. Um, those stats related to those numbers. And that's all going to be done by uh, August 1st. And so we've got stats, playlist, and games. I'm going to go over some of the other features besides the viewer and uh, what you're going to use as a coach. Uh, before, you, before you move on, go um, going back to the shot chart, um, like he said, this is, this is a really basic version right now. Uh, just because all the basketball upgrades to the software are going to be taking place in July. Uh, so the shot chart that you just saw, it's not going to look like that. If you are a shot chart person with a huddle assist, you're going to be able to filter through all those same shot charts that you have with assist. Um, you know, being able to change what type of shot, all that kind of stuff, you will have the ability to look at, at those different, very, you'll be able to filter through different variations of shot charts. All right, we're going to jump over to the My Team tab now. Uh, this is where you're going to add your roster. You're going to add your coaches, board members. Um, this is where you can create groups. You'll be able to see how long your athletes logged in for. Um, you can message them. As you create a group, you can message the entire group. This is where you're going to go to Season Stats. And when we add in the Customize Stats, that tab will appear in this section where you can customize that stat. Different than what Huddle has is we put in a photo library. 
there always appears to be a student or parent taking lots of pictures. And uh, we felt it's important that your athletes have access to all of their media for the rest of their lives. And that would include pictures, game footage, and any highlights that they made. And so that's different than what Huddle has to offer. Your athletes can do three things with those photos. They can tag themselves in those photos. They can post them on our social media app, and they can also uh, use those, uh, th those photos in their highlights. Jumping into my fans, which is probably uh, catching the most buzz on the internet here in uh, 2020, the summer with the possibility of social distancing and maybe not allowing everybody into the games that wants to get into the games, each one of your athletes will have this My Fans tab. And they can easily add moms, dads, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles, and whoever has an interest in your program to follow your program. Our mobile app allows you to upload live or stream live. Uh, there's a difference between the two. For basketball, you can stream it, and then at the end of the game, your fans can go back and grab clips out of that game and post them on social media. So as you encourage all of your athletes to add uh, a minimum of 10, you're gonna have anywhere from 100, 150, maybe even 200 uh, potential fans. You as the head coach get this tab called Fan Dashboard where you get to customize the email that's going out and just let them know who you are and what the money's gonna go for. And then you're gonna hit that send button four or five times over a two week period so that everybody gets plenty of opportunities to become your fans. The pricing of that is dictated by you. So if it costs $5 to get into a basketball game uh, and you're averaging 25, 30 games, you determine what that season pass looks like. Um, can you get $100 for a season pass or do you need to back that down to $60 for a season pass? Um, that's gonna be up to you and uh, your families. As you set that price and hit that send button, you'll see this number growing. And uh, after the fifth time you hit that and that number stops growing, you simply email us or text or phone us and say, hey, send us our check and we'll send you that dollar amount. We're giving schools 70% of the revenue that's generated. We keep 30% to cover the processing fee of the credit card and our bandwidth that'll be used to stream those games. That's the fans page and that's available in every sport. And, and let me uh, take a break right now and just explain what our cost uh, breakdown is. Basketball, if it was just basketball that you were purchasing, that account would be $400. When you bundle that with the other sports at your school, the price goes down and can go as low as $320 for your team. And it's not just for sports. Our platform can be used by the marching band, uh, cheerleading, although they would probably call that a sport. Um, ROTC, performing arts, all of those are available to use uh, for our platform and can count as those 10 uh, varsity teams that would be needed to bring that price down to $320. We've got two more features here, highlights. So all of the athletes and all of the fans would get access to our editor and can create their own highlights. The difference between us and Huddle we give them access to their photo library to add into their uh, highlight video. But the biggest reason is it's free. Huddle will charge $17 to download uh, their highlight video. They can post it on Huddle for free on their social media platform, but we wanna give kids the option to put it on whatever platform that they want. And that, that way they can send it off to colleges themselves um, if they wanna play at that next level. But what we're hoping they'll do with that highlight is go back and post it on our social media platform. We built a hybrid just for sports. We took the features of Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and built our sports platform so that athletes have the best way to sell themselves in order to get to the next level. They can post action shots from the photo library. They can, pass, um, they can post just a clip of the game. And I always tell athletes to um, make sure people know your skill set. 
if you're playing a, a forward or center position, uh, take that, uh, that big rebound that you got in the game, take that one clip and post it on our social media. Um, they can also take their highlights and post them. But the real beauty of our social media platform is found in this profile page. You as coaches measure your students at the beginning of the season. You take their height, you take their vertical, you take their wingspan, you put in their GPA. All of those measurables are searchable by college coaches and college recruiters. So as college coaches and recruiters get access, they hit the search button and they can use those filters to find the athletes that they are looking for. So our social media platform geared for sports to help your kids get to the next level. That's our tour of basketball. I appreciate you taking time out. Um, I would encourage you to go to our website, quickcut.com and sign up for a free 15 day trial. There, there's no obligation, you're not putting in a credit card, and it's the full version. You can invite your coaches, you can invite your athletes to go take a look at it, and we hope to hear from you soon. Um, we've got a great platform and for all sports, and uh, we'd encourage you to take a look at this and encourage your other coaches at the school to take a look at uh, a platform for their sport as well. Thanks, and uh, thank you for taking the time to take a look at this.